The spectacle was a part of Greco-Roman culture, and we can see this because the uh, physical plant, if you will, of spectacle, theaters, amphitheaters, uh, stadia, are even in moderate-sized towns. Back in the early days of Rome, and this is early days when Rome is ruled by kings before it even becomes a republic, there is a tradition of honoring men with a fight to death between slaves. But it became very popular throughout Italy uh, by the Republican era. Well, it's really one of the most central attributes of this culture. And I should stress, its greatest example, examples were in the city of Rome. These were fights that were not always to the death. What was more important was that the gladiators put on a good show. Today they hold shows of their own and win applause by slaying whomsoever the mob with a turn of their thumb bids them slay. The Colosseum could hold 50,000 to 87,000 people. Consider what went on in the Colosseum is it wasn't just about sport and gladiatorial combat, but it was also about showing the might and even the technology of the Roman Empire. It was very important to maintain this, this anomalous population, perhaps a million people. The Circus Maximus was an oval for chariot racing, and it could accommodate up to 250,000 people. They're constantly trying to outmaneuver each other, and people would get knocked out of chariots and get trampled to death. And so there is just a the brutal nature to both of these spectacles. Behold, an equal thing worthy of a god, a brave man matched in conflict with evil fortune. At least some element of Rome enjoyed the dramatic presentations. Some element did because they built so many theaters. But at those times, the theater actually had to compete with gladiatorial combat. In terms of the public being able to see plays, they would often be staged either in the old Greek amphitheaters that still survived, or outside temples. And some of it was very gruesome because at times they would stage scenes where someone would be crucified, so they would take a prisoner who had been condemned to death and crucify them on stage. The Romans didn't have a seven-day week the way we do. They basically live from festival to festival. So every three weeks or so, there's going to be a, say, a three-day to a five or seven-day festival in which the spectacle was a part of it. The Romans tended to take a good idea and take everything to excess. I and mean, that's their whole thing was taking things to excess. They were very American now, taking things to excess.